My name is Ajay Gulati. I am a member of um, resource management team here. I work in the DRS team and I focus specifically on the storage resource management. I've been at VMware for roughly uh, three years now. I'll be talking about this feature called Storage IO Control, which we are going to introduce in the next version of vSphere 4.1. And what this feature gives you, it gives you two different values. One, it tries to isolate VMs from each other in, term uh, in terms of IO performance. And second, it gives them prioritization on top. So you can really say which workload is more important compared to the other. We looked at some of the existing solutions and we realized that it's not an easy problem to solve, especially in virtual environments where you have a single data store being accessed in a distributed manner by different hosts and the virtual machines running on top of them. My name is Irfan Ahmed. I work in the resource management team at VMware, where I'm a staff engineer. I've been at VMware about seven and a half years now. So about 2006, we started to look at this problem after realizing and talking to customers that I.O. prioritization was actually a very serious problem. So we started to look at literature and other products and other companies and how these types of problems had, had been addressed in the past. Well, it turns out that even though I.O. scheduling as a field, there's a lot of work done in and there's a lot of operating systems that support it. But in a consolidated environment, in a large cluster like we have with ESX clusters and DRS clusters, this problem hadn't ever really been solved. And then it took about roughly uh, one and a half years of development and initially roughly six to nine months of refining the idea and making it really work well in virtual environments. It's very simple to use this feature. You just need to go into the vSphere and you need to basically figure out which data store you want to enable the feature on. And you basically go to the data store screen and you say, I want to enable storage IO control on this particular data store. Once you have done that, based on the priority of the VM and the virtual disk, you can set the IO shares for different virtual disks. Now, once you set those, you should see uh, higher throughput and lower latency for VMs for which you have set higher IO shares. With storage IO control, which is this feature that we're delivering in vSphere 4.1, customers are going to have the ability for the very first time in, 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 in our industry to be able to specify the priority for the IO workloads. For example, a workload that is twice as important, you'll be able to just specify that as being twice as important compared to other workloads. And we'll be able to dynamically, in real time, and very quickly, uh, as workloads are changing, meet those uh, specifications. So this is the first time that, uh, in our industry, that IO pro performance uh, management at this scale, in these large clusters, has been accomplished at the speed that we're able to do it. So in situations where all the shares are equal, there also the feature actually has a um, lot of benefit. One, it would make sure that the equal shares are respected across a cluster and not only on a particular host. Second, one of the features, uh, parameters is what latency you want to maintain your data store at. And if you set the latency threshold to be a certain value, let's say 30 millisecond, then it would make sure that as soon as the latency starts going above 30 millisecond, it would start bringing down the workload onto the data store. So that kind of differentiation you get even if the shares are equal. We've been working on some performance data that we're going to be releasing along with the vSphere 4.1 launch. That is really exciting. One of our goals when we were developing this feature was to do a balance between IO prioritization and efficiency. Now, it turns out that these are very difficult to balance. And we took it as a goal upon ourselves that we would balance these two really well so that the investment that the customer has in terms of their storage equipment is highly efficiently utilized. And yet, they're also able to do prioritization and fair sharing of their workloads. Another aspect of this feature that we're very happy with is that because we can provide this proportional sharing and this isolation, we can provide a peace of mind. So over the course of a day, of work day, uh, during business hours, there can be periods where there's high I.O. contention. Well, in those periods, our feature will kick in because it detects congestion automatically, and it will go and do I.O. prioritization. Well, that allows you to get, during those peak periods where the most performance problems are noticed by users, to allow uh, fair sharing to be happening. VMware has this long history of bringing better consolidation to our customers. And people have used consolidation on CPU and memory a lot and have reaped a lot of benefit from that. What this storage IO control feature brings on the table is the same level of consolidation 
and comfort to the customers where now they can consolidate their storage workloads and still be comfortable about it because one of the key requirements for better consolidation is better isolation and performance uh, prioritization. And storage IO control brings it across a cluster, not only just for a single host. We have a long history of allowing customers to do more with less. We continue that tradition with storage IO control. This has the potential of lowering not only your capital expenditures, but also your operating expenses because you have fewer physical entities to maintain and administer and worry about. With the introduction of storage IO control, we're gonna give the storage administrator many more tools than ever before to be able to manage shared storage resources.